Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarender. And um, today it's a bit of a different video, actually. Or, or rather, um, this is a video more about why I play by Smoking Rules. And um, I've been holding off on this video because I don't have a real script for it. Hell, I still don't have it. I just want to speak up my mind, really, and share with you the thoughts on why I play the Smoking Rules. It's very obvious why people do. For some, I mean, this is definitely a response to Verlissify's video he made, I think, three weeks back, where he tried to um, define why the um, bans on smoking was bad and how they can be dealt with. Now, he is obviously not a smoking player, and he's definitely not a discussion like one, and I find his content really funny. I mean, I don't take the guy serious whatsoever. I think he he's, he's, he's good for laughs, um, because... It showcases that he's really he he's not getting it, uh, nor has he any intention of doing so, um, and uh, it makes for great videos. It really does. Um, I mean, that's how <laughs> that's how he works. I mean, he's he's a general fun guy. I don't hate the guy. I think he's a bit too oblivious for his own good. But uh, besides that, I think he's. His video is great. I mean, I, I, I really laugh so much. I really do. Uh, the reason I laugh is probably kind of obvious, but uh, <laughs> still, though, we need people like that around. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, but this is not a hate video on Release of Five, because like I said, I don't mind a guy, and I think Pyro took care of the worst there. Um, but yeah, I, I, most people find him, um, well, not intimidating, but... Uh, Ooh, right words to use. Most people find him offensive, and I think uh, react on that. Now, like I said, this is the reason why I play it. It also means that the people here that are not playing by smoking rules are gonna make a video, or not a video, but a response on this comment. If, is there still like hate comments here later on, or anything like that, of why smoking is bad? I don't care. I just, I don't. The reason is... This is a video about why I play by Smoking Rules. If you can't deal with it, then you know that's I, I couldn't care less. Um, no good for you though for not doing so. I mean, there are very few of you guys left. Uh, it, actually, it's really few of you guys left. But yeah, what I wanted to define here is that I've been a smoking player for I think approximately two years now, and um, the reason I actually started playing by Smoker Rules was because I actually realized, or not realized, but I was showcased that if I want to use the Pokemons I'm using, which are regular, like, yeah, bad Pokemons, like, I really want to use the Pokemon that nobody else is using, and um, I want to do well with them, and obviously that's, that's getting harder <laughs> and harder to do. Uh, for example, I'm a big fan of Tropius. I insisted on using that Pokemon in my early videos, and with mixed result, of course, but let's just say early X and Y was a lot of Mega Kanga scans, and it was um, it was a slaughter. Uh, I rarely did well. I insisted on not using the strongest Pokemon. I even avoided uh, legendary Pokemon. I really wanted to play with the weakest Pokemon and do well. And I think I did so to some extent, but without an agenda, without like anything that could balance itself against my opponent, I would usually fail badly. Um, that thing luckily did turn around once I found out about the NU and RU. And um, I started in RU because NU was really late in X and Y. And um, I did well. I did really well. I'm still like an RU NU player because of that reason. My whole channel is dedicated to those tiers. But... Um, I did surprisingly well, and I could use my own wit and will, and you know, really, really use my knowledge against stronger Pokemon against my opponents. Uh, using weaker Pokemon usually gave me an edge because they didn't know what they were up against, and uh, I thought that was great. Uh, a lot of lower tier Pokemon has a broader move set. Uh, they are usually not as balanced or straightforward in the stats. Like for example, there are like no defining walls really in the lower tiers. Yes, there are good walls, and I think Cresselia stood for the worst in RU, but there are no Pokemon like, for example, Chansey or Blissey in the higher series. They're not there. 
um, they're not complete stops. They're, you can always wheel a team down better, you know, in, in UNRU. And I really like that about that, that there are good predictions are rewarded, but there is not a high price to pay if you play wrong, too. Um, if you go against your average passerby, then a wrongdoing might just lead to a sweep. I can't tell you guys how many times I've gone up against a Mega Lucario. Uh, did the wrong prediction about it being a special set because it brought it against a weird Pokemon and it brought a, went for a sword stance and I couldn't outspeed it to, to destroy my team. And um, that is generally intimidating. That, and it's great to know that I don't have to worry about that in Smogon. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, it's rewarding to uh, play by small rules. It's rewarding to uh, try to um, work something out. And uh, I couldn't do that against passerbys. I couldn't do that in VGCs either. Um, I don't mind VGCs players, actually. I think they are great. They are, have a lot of good thoughts. And 2 versus 2 is something different. And I think they aren't hardly as unbalanced as, let's say, <laughs> singles are in uh, Pokemon. Now... This is going to make people mad, I guess, but this is just my thought of it. I really see Smogon as the metagame to go with when it comes to Pokemon. And the thing is, the reason I say that is because the metagame, as it stands, is not a real metagame. It's not a controlled metagame. For example, take Blizzard, for example, the company that made, um, oh, they're, I think it's Leagues of the Storms or anything like that. Uh, basically, a League of Legends um, or Duda. Uh, it's um they are handling the meta game by seeing which is unbalanced, what's what stats, what strategies are most prominent, uh, could it be countered, have we missed something? They're testing the game, like in a different way that um, is not possible by Pokemon overall. And the thing is here that usually a meta game is balanced by that that you know they're seeing the strategies that are too strong and can make like, nerf that kind of <laughs> strategy. And that is not happening. And uh, the thing is, which separates, for example, other Nintendo products, for example, of Pokemon and Smash, is that in Smash, most people are agreeing which po or which characters are the best. There are tier lists in the you know the competitive battlers there are or competitive fighters are agreeing on it. You know, Sheik is the best, followed by Sonic or whatever. I'm obviously not a Smash player, but they are like they are the top tiers, and people are agreeing on that. Yeah, the worst of the worst is these guys. The best of the best are these guys. That dialogue is not even prominent in Pokemon. It seems like it's a complete hate by that. And I think it is because people are feeling limitations. Um, people are annoyed by limitations. While, because they have six Pokemon to choose from. And they can only, they can only use their favorites so far. And then they have to use the best Pokemon so they're going to lose. There is a distinct disadvantage. And there isn't really like that in Smash, but I really, really like the idea of people not even agreeing on the simplest fact that Garchomp might just be stronger than, for example, Flygon. No, no, okay, they're oh yeah, you can, you can Scarf Flygon, it would be better, but if Garchomp is Scarf too, then Garchomp's gonna win anyway, yeah, fuck it. Uh, it's one of those dialogues that made me really, really, really tired of uh, your average passerby, your average battler in Pokemon. And the reason I sought shelter in Smogon. And I'm still doing this this very day. Like I said, good thought process, good ideas are rewarded without you having to worry about the, the easy to go to counters and the easy to go to sweepers, tanks. They're not prominent in different tiers. You can design your team with the, a good thought process in mind and you are rewarded with it. I mean, if I make a team for whoever is passive, I don't want to use Tropius. I'm gonna have a rough time. I don't have to worry about that in NU. And I th that's the reason alone I play by Smoke and Rules. So, yeah, I think that will end the video. I actually did a um, longer one before this, and uh, I don't wanna make this video long. I just wanna try and tell you guys that this is what I do, this is my job, and uh, this is why I play Smoke on. And uh, guys, share your thoughts. Why are you playing Smoke on? Is it because it's a rusty metagame? Or is it because you really just like to use Pokemon in lower tiers? Like I said, I like Pokemon or Smogon just because I can use the Pokemon I like without having to worry about other things around them. Um, I, I can really appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.